Hello! I'm here today to talk to you about the wonderful world of MySpace Ooh, and all that jazz. Chances are most of you watching will indeed have a MySpace account, but perhaps there are a few of you who don't. So I thought I'd give you a little help and some rules for setting up your own MySpace. Even if you do have your own MySpace, be sure to adapt to these rules to make sure yours is personally about you. Rule number one, pictures. Every account must have an emo picture. If you don't know what an emo picture is, I'll show you. You take your camera and hold it at arm's length at a good 45 above degree angle and do this with your two fingers. Press gently against your lips and look up under your eyes. So it's sort of a very seductive, look at me, I'm cool and depressive. Of course, not one emo picture will do. You have to take 12 of them, stick all of them in little rows and put, put little hearts and love things underneath explaining like one word per picture. So this is me and I am taking lots of pictures. Heart, 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 X, X, X. Of course, you can't quite fit all that into you only allow 12 pictures, so you'll have to combine a few words. But make sure every one of them you're doing this. Rule number two, pointless information. Every account must have masses upon masses upon masses of absolute tax that nobody's going to read. But don't let that put you off, because it has to be there. It's, it's the MySpace rules. Such as, an example would be, Hello, my name is Jeff, I'm 18, and I own a dog. I don't care. Rule number three, your favorite bands and music. Of course, bands and music, you have to be cool to like bands and music. So you, obviously, to be cooler, you need a huge list that requires lots of scrolling to read. Starting with a little emo heart. If you don't know what an emo heart is, you get a little pointed arrow and stick a three next to it. It's an emo heart. In front of every one, such as I emo heart, Atreu, I emo heart, Trivium, I, and it goes on and on and on. But the fact is, after the fifth band, you could just make up words and just write things like wall, paper, cap, and so on, because no one's going to read it after the first five. Rule number four, quizzes and statistics. Every MySpace account must contain some pointless information about a quiz you took last week that says something like, according to this quiz I scored 89%, which means I'm a happy fairy. Ooh. Or this quiz says I scored 63%, which means I'm gay. Click here to take the quiz yourself and provide appropriate linkage so everyone else can go and take that quiz and stick it on their account. Rule number five, every MySpace account must contain links to your favorite websites. This could be perhaps your favorite band, your favorite pizzeria, or perhaps even where you bought your pants from. It doesn't matter, you can actually make the links up, because the chances of anybody actually clicking the link is very, very small. So small, in fact, it's zero. Zero. And if you do click it, it's by mistake, and you're clicking back, quickly, back, back, stop, back, don't want to visit it. Rule number six, custom curses. Every account needs a custom cursor, something that relates to your personal individuality. Such as, if you're a girl, a nice happy rose. If you're an emo kid, some sort of bleeding gun. Or a heart that's got a big arrow going through it. Or if you're a child, perhaps a dinosaur that walks as it's loading. It doesn't matter what, but it has to be on your account. So whenever I was going on there, go, hey, where's my arrow gone? It's become a dinosaur. How very annoying. But it doesn't matter because it has to be done. It's a rule, the rule of my space. Rule number seven, profile pictures. Every profile must contain hundreds upon hundreds of pictures of you and your friends and the back garden and leaves and trees and phone boxes and car tires and so on and so forth. With appropriate writing underneath to say exactly what's going on in the picture because you have to assume people looking at it will have no idea. Such as me and my friends in a car. Me and my friends at home. Me eating cake. Rule number eight, superimposed text. One of your pictures, or perhaps more depending on how creative you are, 
must contain some sort of text to describe what's going on. This can be done in perhaps Photoshop or Painter, etc, etc, and so on. But perhaps you had a picture of a cat. You must then have a lovely pink and blue piece of writing with an emo heart at the end saying, I like cats, and it's a cat. You can do this on all of them, or perhaps some sort of terribly depressing emo lyrics. What well, you want to be your pictures if you're doing that? You could put this, oh, I don't know, something like, I die, I cry, won't you cry with me? Then the next picture of you doing this, I cry, I die, we all cry together, etc. and so on. But it has to be pink and blue, or black and white and depressing, or something. It's a cool. Rule number nine! Every account must contain some sort of music playing device that plays a song you've never heard before. And of course, the song must be quite large in file size. So when people go on your website, not only do they have to wait for your millions and millions of pictures to load, they then have to wait for some crap song that they've never heard and they don't want to hear to suddenly blast out their speakers and scare the crap out of them. Like, emo song. And then by the time you have to mess around, press pause, and you go down the page, you suddenly you press something else, you go to another page, you come back, and it's back playing again, and you have to scroll all the way to the top and find it and pause it, and then it says, click here to go and visit this band's MySpace page. I'm like, why? Because I don't like them, I don't like the music, I don't want to listen to it. And I have to keep finding it over and over and over to press pause, but you have to do it, put your favorite, but it doesn't even have to be your favorite band, it can be a song you found on some music finding site that nobody's ever heard of that's loud and annoying and repetitive and screamy and heavy, but stick it on. Make sure you do. Rule number 10, last but not least, every account must have fancy, fancy, flashing lights and little dots that rain and it says, I'm a furry, or I like stars and the stars all over your screen, causing children with epilepsy to suddenly suffer and have a fit because of all the rapid changing and light intensity. But of course it doesn't matter because it's not you, is it? Even if you do have a plus, you've still got to do it and it goes flash and flash and flash and flash. Then you click on your one of your pictures, view pictures. Oh my god, all the pictures on here are flashing and it's you doing this over and over and over with I like cats or something that flashes over and over, but you've got to do it. Every account must look the same. That's how we know you're individual because you look like everybody else and nobody looks the same because they all look the same. That's the rule of MySpace, remember it. So, if you want to get a nice printed copy of the rules of MySpace, simply come onto my profile and you can find them there. I am fully aware of the irony of complaining about MySpace and promoting it on MySpace. Don't quote me on that. Thank you. I think Darren Simpson, or as my professionally emo friend name says, something like, if you were really emo, you'd be dead by...